So, just as the title suggests, made a mistake, misled you guys, gave you bad information, and on this one, we're going to correct it. So, long story short, um, put the spoon calipers in the wrong corners. So I have the left on the right and the right on the left. Bleeders are pointing down, they're supposed to be pointing up. And yeah, kind of messed that one up. Should have caught it. It's just all caught up in the uh, happiness of getting one of my grail parts. That's me being a dummy, so let's fix that and then be a quick video for today. All right, so this is what we're talking about here. This little loop should be on the bottom side and the bleeders should be up top. So let's uh, take that off, swap them back over left to right, and then we should be done. After bleeding, obviously. <laughs> and the left one in the right spot as well well right spot as being on the correct side so I'm gonna grab a buddy bleed these brakes real quick and then we'll just have like a general update with the rest of the cars after this pretty sure we didn't mention this in the other video or any of the other previous videos but we always use Motul RBF 600 on all the cars here all right, so what was supposed to be a quick update video is actually turning out to be a little bit more of a freshening up for the S2000 episode. Um, we got some parts while we were bleeding, so we're gonna get to throwing those on now. So here's where I messed up a bit. I filmed the entire parts intro in time lapse, so all these clips are really like a second each. I lengthened them so I could kind of go over what's happening. So we got a new bumper stiffener along with the trim piece for it. We got new idle pulley along with the washer, the under washer, and the new bolt to freshen that up. And we also finally got in the spoon upper strut tire bar and the lower crossbar. We didn't do the lower crossbar in this one because I'm saving that to do when I have to get underneath the car for an oil change. And then that way we can go on because those are known to be in the way for oil changes. And I also finally got in the spoon lug nuts I was waiting on to complete the look of the spoon wheel along with the spoon calipers. Also did get a new crank pulley along with the crank pulley bolt, but I'm saving those for another video when I do the timing chain, the timing chain tensioner, and the water pump. So that'll go on at a later date. Also got the radiator hose clamp that goes into the side of the shock tower. Cause I didn't have one of those and I didn't want the spoon hose rubbing up and down and creating a a hole in the hose as well as we got the new coolant reservoir stand.
picked up these side strikes off eBay. Not bad for an eBay part, 150 bucks, and it was already color matched. Looks much nicer in there. On the fence about replacing the auto tensor as a whole or just doing the uh, the pulley and hardware. Also thinking I'm just gonna replace the water pump too when I have to do the timing chain. Since it's the original, has 65,000 miles on it. It's also an older car, so I'll change it when I do the crank pulley. That way all this will look nice and new. And I'll probably get the uh, AC Delete Honda belt just because. Maybe I'll leave it. We'll see. Now let's get the spoon strut tower bar ready to go into the car. expecting that one to be tight since I didn't put the ratchet to it first. So these are directional. You want the mounting feet facing towards the car. Well, facing towards the firewall. And then the bolts face towards the radiator support. Alright, I'm gonna get this side together and then I'm gonna join you over at the car with the bar. So it looks like it clears the intake with plenty of space. Uh, we'll probably have to get a 45 degree coupler when I put on the Ultra Series manifold, if I put on the Ultra Series. 
Um, still debating that. Kind of want ITB still. But we'll see what's in the cards. So that'll do it for this one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you next time.